And then, uh, lo and behold, uh, my dad went for an operation and uh, we'd been to visit him and I'd spoken to the surgeon who was a, a, a Neville Fisher and he said, you know, he said, your dad's doing well, no problems, you know. So I said, okay, that's fine, that's good news. So we saw him in the afternoon and uh, I popped down in the evening and um, spent a little bit of time with him and he, he looked okay. And I arrived home and Denise was busy getting the kids to, to, to go to bed and I think it was about half past eight, maybe quarter to nine in the evening, I don't know, but there, there about. And the same voice spoke to me and said, go back to the hospital. And I said to Denise, I said, you know what, I, I believe the Lord's just spoken to me. She said, what? I said, I believe the Lord's just spoken to me and he's told me I must go back to the hospital. So I said, I said, come, bring the kids. And she, she got quite upset about that, but we went. And uh, the, the kids went in again and saw their grandfather and uh, Denise uh, again greeted him and said goodbye. And, he asked Denise and the, the children, he said, would you just leave me alone with, with Sonny? I, I, I just want to have a chat to him. And the sister happened to walk in and uh, he said to me, he said, what you need to know is that I'm, I'm going to die tonight. And I said to him, don't talk rubbish, man. And the, the sister got quite upset about it. She, and she said, she said, go on, don't talk nonsense. She said, uh, the operation's successful. You, you're doing extremely well. You've got no problem. You, you, you'll, you'll be fine. And he said to her, he said, he said, would you please excuse me, I want to speak to my son. So she left, and uh, my dad had a one-man business, it was called Better Kind Peanut Product. Uh, perhaps some of you people will recall the hawkers that walked on the beach and they sold popcorn and salted peanuts and popsicles and that sort of thing, that was his business. So he, he gave me instructions with regards to the business and uh, who owed him money and you know, whatever goes with it. And uh, I still said to him, I said, oh, come on, Pops, you know, come off it, man, you know, I'll see you tomorrow evening. Well, we got home, put the kids to bed. One o'clock in the morning, the phone rang. It was the sister. And she said to me, she said, she said I, 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 I can't account for this. I said, what? She said, your dad's gone. He's gone. And, and that's it. So, you know, I, I, I believe that I, I'd heard from God again. I mean, what makes you all of a sudden just think that you've heard a voice and you pick up your wife and kids and go back to the hospital, you know. So yeah, that that was another uh, incident. But there came a time, obviously, that uh, we had a, a, a bury him. He particularly wanted to be buried. And uh, what I didn't know, the, the, the story unfolded later. But as an apprentice, we lost 19 people in the power station that got killed one way or the other, whether it was a motorcycle or a car or in the power station uh, itself. Uh, so, you know, you, you, <laughs> you're going to be completely dumb if you don't know the scripture in my father's house, there are many mansions, you know. So, uh, the courtesy car arrived uh, at my mom's home and uh, somehow or the other, I got into the car and there was nobody else there. It was it just, I was on my own. And I, I said to the Lord, uh, you know, I said, you know, if, if this is all for real and, and all these, uh, encounters that I think I've, I've, I've actually had with you. If it's so, then will you please tell me where my dad is and, and what, what has happened? And I said, as a sign between you and I, when the pastor comes and he stands behind the pulpit, he is not to greet the people first. He is to say, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And then greet the people. Well, we finally arrived at uh, Davos and uh, Everybody seated and you know mournful and tears flowing and you know all the rest of it that goes with it and uh, It was a Baptist minister And he came and he stood behind the pulpit and he said in my father's house There are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you and then he said good afternoon ladies and gentlemen So I, I knew that uh, hey, you know, this is for real. There's something really transpiring in my life and, 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 and God uh, is revealing himself in you know in the, in the way that he's chosen to do with me anyhow after the funeral uh, i went up to this baptist minister and i said to him i said i, I know that uh, my mom got hold of you and, and you kindly came and you know you took the service and so forth but you spoke as if you knew my dad and he said he said well he said i'll tell you how it came about 
He said, in my family, he said, we, we love peanuts. We really love peanuts. And he said, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't afford to buy like a half a kg of, of, of peanuts per, per week. And he said, somebody told me about your dad. And he said, I, I went and I went to see him. And I asked him if he would sell me the peanuts wholesale. And he said, your dad said, no, I won't do that. So he said, well, OK, that's fine, you know. And my dad said to him, no. He said, you can have the peanut. You come every Friday afternoon, there'll be a half a kg of peanuts ready for you. That's from me to your family. And he said, gradually we became friends and your father finally accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal saviour. So that in itself was, was quite a story, you know. Uh, my dad hadn't shared with me that uh, he, he did receive the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as his saviour. But uh, yeah, you know, that, that, was, that was wonderful news. And, you know, one would think that after all these experiences that I had that um, I would have just charged in and said, well, God, here I am, you know, uh, take a hold of me and, you know, do, do your thing, whatever it is that you want to do and wh whatever you're best at, you know what I mean? 